Hi, so someone asked me to do Q and A. Actually, it was Unfermat. He's a, he's a follower of mine, and he said, uh, "Hey, do a Q and A." So I thought, why not? First question is, show me your gear. Let's just do all the barbecues. Uh, let's walk through them. Uh, some of them I had for a while, and we can see the damage I, I've done to them. The other question is my uh, briquettes. They're square briquettes. A lot of people haven't seen them before, and uh, so maybe I can uh, talk a little bit about that. So stick around. Okay, so let's do the barbecue tour. It comes with um, really great accessories, like this uh, uh, stainless steel uh, grate, which is really, really good. And uh, look at the firebox, look at the, the thickness of the, the steel. It's so thick, it's really, really great. There's drawers underneath here, so. I only think they should change the place where they put the logo because it's hidden away behind the lid. That's a little bit crazy. On to the next one. We're walking to the other part of the garden. I have a small garden in the urban uh, environment. So, um, this is the, the smaller one is the Ranger. And this is the middle one, which is the Frontier. And there's another one, which I loaned out to a friend of mine, and it's called the XL. And that's the biggest one. Uh, on the XL, I have four stacks. That's completely insane, with a, with a spit roast on it as well. So I could, do, I could cook for the whole street on that one. a lot of damage on it. See there's also a little bit of rust here. Okay so I get I got my other barbecues outside. Let's have a look. This is kind of a cult hero from Weber. It's very very popular in the Netherlands. We even have a special day organized for it. So uh, a lot of people put on wooden handles for that, customize it. I have, it's a really great barbecue as well. Hey, that's some gear I was missing. <laughs> With the plate setter. And this thing really rocks. Perfect temperature control, not as good as the Big Grenade Large, but it's a really nice thing to be cooking on. Absolutely great. I hope you guys know by now that I have a Facebook forum. Uh, go check it out, the link is in the video description. We can have a chat there about which barbecues you like best. Okay, time to talk about briquettes. You guys asked me about these little things here. They are Ecobrasa uh, coconut briquettes. And there are two things that I like about this. They pack them in square boxes. So they take up very, very little space. So I can pack a lot of them in my garage. And the other thing is that uh, they're made out of coconuts. And because they're made out of coconuts, uh, they don't have to cut down trees for it. If they performed less on the barbecue than the normal briquettes do, I wouldn't have bought them either way, even if they had to cut down trees, because it's about the end result for me. They're 
almost odorless. They give off very little smoke when starting up. Um, they give out a, a really great amount of heat and they perform really, really well. Tell me about your regrets. Tell me what's great about them. Which one do you love? This is the one that I use. I'll put a link uh, in the video description where you can read more about the Eco Brasso briquettes. Okay guys, for next time, just ask me anything you want. I'll pick out some great questions and try to answer them as best I can. So uh, see you at the next Q&A.